Happy Wednesday, everybody, and welcome back to the busiest weekend in Nebraska football history, or something like that. Um, it was reported today, just about an hour ago, that Kyle McCord is out on Nebraska, a bombshell news, um, dropping by On3 and then later by 24-7. Um, we can only confirm that that means Julian Fleming will also be out. They were a package deal. Um, let's just get into it right away. Some quick takes. How does this impact um, Dylan Riola, and how does this impact the Cornhuskers going forward? So, yeah, first things first, uh, Julian Fleming is out. There is no chance we get Julian Fleming. I just want to he can hit that right off the bat. They're a package deal. They wanted to go to a school together. Um, again, from what it sounds like, the visits on Monday and Tuesday all went perfect. They went great. Um, this is just purely because of Dylan Riola. And this is a bigger indication to you. If anybody needs any more proof that Dylan Royale is committed to this team right now, and it's, he's committed um, behind closed doors and later will announce on Saturday, if there's any more proof, here's your proof, right? That Kyle McCord decommitted, right? Um, second take. Dylan Royale is going to be our starter going into next year. Now, originally, when when I heard the news that Dylan Rallo was committed under closed doors, I thought, okay, he's just going to sit under Kyle McCord a year. I, I thought that he could compete immediately, honestly, for the job. I think he could even beat Kyle McCord out because um, he's, he's generational. He's a generational prospect. Um, but, obviously, we, McCord didn't even want to risk that. He didn't want to risk a guy competing with him, so he decommitted. Um, it's as simple as that. I really am not that sad about this. Kyle McCord, it was a good quarterback. He didn't move the needle from me. He was not a priority. He would have been a priority if Dylan Raiola was not going to be Nebraska Cornhusker like we, we saw on Monday night, right? If that was still up in the air and he was going to be a Georgia Bulldog, yes, absolutely, Kyle McCord would have been priority. But priority has changed. And I cannot blame the staff for actively choosing a uh, generational five-star recruit, Dylan Raiola, over a guy who has one year of eligibility. I cannot blame them. Um, yes, it would have been nice to have both on the roster. Yes, it would have been nice to have uh, what many would have considered the best quarterback room in college football or one of the best. That would have been great. But at the end of the day, I want Dylan Raiola starting the second he gets on campus because that's how good of a player he is, and I think that's the best for the program long term. He's that talented, guys. Like, let's not let's not get around it. Right, we've had four. So we've had Adrian Martinez start the second he gets on campus. General Royal is generational. Okay, yes, yes, this dude will start the second he gets on campus. Um, and perhaps even one of the reasons why he's leaving UGA is because of the fact that Carson Beck is coming back, and he's looking at Nebraska and he's saying, "Hey, they don't have a quarterback right now. If I go to commit to Nebraska, uh, and get an NIL deal, I could start going into twenty twenty four my true freshman year." So. Again, this is just further confirmation that Dylan Royola will be a Nebraska Cornhusker. Um, again, yeah, it, it's not great. This doesn't help us in any way that McCord's not having. It would have been nice to have him as a starter going into 2024, kind of to develop Royola. Royola would still play off the bench. Um, but then I can't. I'm not mad about this outcome either. Um, as for Nebraska, where do we go from here? I still believe we're going to need a transfer quarterback. Yes, Dylan Royola will be your starter. But when you look at it, I think Chevy Purdy will enter the portal sooner or, la sooner or later. Um, Heinrich Harburg will stay. So as of right now, you have two two quarterbacks on the roster. Dan Royal and Heinrich Harburg. Daniel Kalen um, will not be a Nebraska Cornhusker. He is going to visit Michigan State this week, and he will likely commit there. He, he will not be a Nebraska Cornhusker. And that's, that is what it is. I'll, I can make a separate video talking about Daniel Kalen and everything that's transpired there. I felt horrendous for him, um, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so Kyle McCord will not be a Nebraska Cornhusker. Let me know if you guys have any other takes about that. But again, just simply came down to Del Riola. He was not a priority for the staff anymore. He just wasn't. And at the end of the day, I don't think the staff was going to ensure that he would be the starting quarterback. Similar to what we saw with Casey Thompson. Casey Thompson wanted to be ensured that he would be the starter going into next year. He was not. So he left. You know, when you have... When you're one of these veteran quarterbacks with one or two years left of eligibility, you're done playing games. You don't want to fight for a job anymore. You want to be ensured that you're the guy. My comic core wanted to be ensured that he was the guy, and he was not. So um, at the end of the day, he will not be in Nebraska Corn Oscar. We'll see where he goes. I heard that Syracuse had some interest in him, but um, we're going to keep chugging along. 
I think for us in the transfer portal, we'll, we'll go after more of a develop, developmental quarterback. Um, Malik Murphy just entered a guy I've kind of had my eyes on. Um, that would have been, a, we would have been a good landing spot for Sam Leavitt if we were going for those developmental quarterbacks. Um, so keep our eyes out. We definitely need to go after another quarterback. Again, we literally don't have any other quarterbacks on the roster. Um, so we'll keep an eye out for that. The big one that stings, in my opinion, is Julian Fleming. That guy would have been a huge addition in the receiver room. We are hosting uh, Boise State transfer Eric McAllister this weekend. That's something to note. A really, really underrated transfer. That guy should, would be a huge addition. But that does hurt not getting Julian Fleming, um, likely. So uh, that's the video, everybody. If you guys don't want to know anything else or um, have any other comments about what's going on in Nebraska, Kyle McCord, Julian Fleming, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, please hit the like button on the video. It really helps me out. And subscribe to the channel. We're going to have a video this Saturday or this Sunday talking about Jenna Riola, how this impacts the program uh, when he does, in fact, sign the down line and commit to the Nebraska Cornhuskers. So watch out for that. But as always, go Big Red, go by Roll, and see you in the next one.